The Digital Aquatics Reefkeeper Lite Aquarium Controller is offered in three retail versions. This video unboxes version 1, which is offered as a $99 retail product through the company and retail outlets as well. This video covers the unboxing, introduction to the various components and basic connections of the Reefkeeper Lite version 1 controller. Additional videos will be released about programming as this is a much more complex topic. The Reefkeeper Lite version 1 comes packaged with the controller head, an RKM PC4 which is an individually controlled 4 outlet power strip, and the iTemp, a temperature probe. There is also the programming interface, a bus cable to connect the interface to modules, and a mini USB cable to connect to your PC computer. The retail package comes with a user guide, and several printed cards relating to other available modules that add functionality to your Reefkeeper controller. There are also mounting screws for the control head and the RKM PC4. The Reefkeeper control head has tabs for mounting to a surface. You can also cut a hole to mount the controller flush with the cabinet and attach the screws from the rear. The Reefkeeper light controller itself has a two-line display, four blue module indicator lights to inform you about Reefkeeper modules attached to the system, and five membrane buttons for various functions. The five controller buttons are Menu, to move throughout the various programming functions on the control head, Up and Down buttons, to scroll through the programming or status options, Enter for selecting menu items and confirming changes made in programming. The Enter button also has a second function of changing the display to status. Finally, there is a Back button. This allows you to back out of the branching menus and return to the status display. The Back button also has a second function as a trigger for the Standby mode. Pressing Standby and a second confirmation with the Enter key initiates the standby mode which makes necessary changes to the tank that you have programmed into the controller such as turning off pumps and the skimmer for feeding. The Reefkeeper light control head has a permanently attached bus connection cable. The cable terminates in a telephone like plug but please don't confuse this with a phone cord. The bus cable has six conductors and is wired differently from telephone cables. Incorrectly wired cables may damage your equipment and will surely void your warranty. The next item is the RKM PC4 module. This is a smart power bar with four outlets which are able to be controlled individually from the Reefkeeper light control head. The four outlets have a combination of two different capacities. Outlets 1 and 4 can handle a maximum of 8 amps of current each. They are operated by mechanical relays. Outlets 2 and 3 can handle 3 amps each and are operated by solid state relays. Please keep in mind that the maximum current draw for the entire PC4 bar is 15 amps. The outlet numbering runs from left to right. The top left side of the PC4 has indicator lights. There is a top green status light which provides feedback for the PC4 connection. The next four lower lights are blue and indicate whether an outlet is on, off, or in standby mode. On the left end of the PC4, closest to its grounded power cord, are two telephone-like connector sockets for the plugs mentioned previously. Again, please don't attempt to replace bus connector cables with telephone cables. These are called the bus connector sockets. In the case of the Reefkeeper Lite version 1, you will be connecting the end of the controller bus cable into one of these sockets. It doesn't matter which one you use, just insert the plug in until it clicks. This is as complex as the connections get on the Reefkeeper Level 1 as it's packaged. There are more advanced modules and other connections, but those are separate purchases. The Reefkeeper bus connections don't need to be made in any particular order. As you expand the system, you can reorganize the modules for your convenience as often as it suits you. The modules each have an internal serial number and that's how the controller keeps track of them. Your programming is fixed to a particular module, so remember when you move things around, keep track of which modules control what functions. We have a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet at hitechreef.net. 
It will help you keep track of all your modules in the programming. Finally, there is the ITEM probe. This probe isn't a module on its own. It stands alone and connects to your final open bus connector socket. There is another Reefkeeper module which allows for temperature measurement. The iTemp temperature probe is not compatible with that module. You will need to purchase a different type of temperature probe from Digital Aquatics if you want to have a second temperature reading. The Reefkeeper programmer in this bundle is only used for updating the modules and the controller head. We won't go into its use at this time as that will be covered in another video. Thank you for taking the time to view our presentation. We will be coming out with new videos frequently, so please keep an eye on www.hitechreef.net.